All right, welcome back to Adobe Photoshop. And today we're gonna to take a look at a funky little option inside of the new remove tool that I've been fiddling around with to get better results on taking areas out. So I was photographing my neighbor's dog here and basically I tried to leave a, a little spot right here that was green above the head. I didn't want the white to touch it. I didn't want this. The dog scared of me, so I couldn't get super close to it, but I knew I wanted to remove this. So what better thing to use than the new remove tool? However, if you go up here to Photoshop and settings, by default, if you go down to image processing, we have three different options. Here's the remove tool, and by default, it's on faster. Also faster on selections, and this is for any AI selections, and select subject image processing. Notice you can use your device for quicker results or cloud for detail results. So switch this to cloud as long as you have a good internet connection because you're gonna get better results using that. So those are three things that I didn't know existed, but they're new. The quick one here is this faster tool. So we're gonna try the faster one by default. So come over, grab the new tool, and this is really simple. We're just gonna make our brush a little bit bigger and we're just painting over the area that's kind of pink and that's what it's gonna remove. And when I did this, it did an absolutely horrible job. I mean, horrible, it reminded me of the old extract function that was so bad. It just doesn't look good. So we'll see how well it does. Yeah, you can see it's like flat and gray and has this weird pattern and this weird funky pattern there. I'm like, oh my God, I, I can't use it. It did it and it did it in the area, but it just does a horrible job. So I'm like, hmm, is there a way I can fix it? So I searched and then I found out that we had these options. So we go to settings, back down to image processing, and we're gonna change it from faster to more stable. More stable isn't uh, very convincing. So we're gonna do the same thing. It should do a better job, but it's not going to usually do a great job. So let's go ahead and take a look at this, see what happens here. And you can see, yeah, even the more stable option has got a little more detail, but it still doesn't look good. So let's undo that and let's try the old version because neither one of those looks good. So we're gonna come up and we will grab the lasso tool. We'll just put it back down to zero for now. And we're gonna make a selection here. We need to select by using this, the area that we wanna remove. So I've selected this fence. We're gonna go up here to edit, content aware fill. And in content aware fill, it allows you to choose the area that you wanna fill with. And over here, it's showing you what it looks like. So right here, this looks good, this looks horrible. So let's remove this dog area. So right up here, we have the minus selected. So if I kind of paint over this, it's gonna remove it. Cause yeah, we don't wanna replace the dog. So anything in green is an area that it might use and anything that's clear looks normal, it's not gonna use. I also don't want this, I want the really out of focus grass. So I'm gonna take the grass from here back and remove it so it doesn't own from this area. And we'll see if that changes it. It looks better over here, but not over here. I could come in here and tr change the color adaptations to make it differently. That didn't do much. Let's try high. Fault. I'm not sure, sure either one worked it very well, but I think default looks better. So let's go ahead and hit OK, and then we'll go in here. And you can see it did a pretty good job over here, but it, it's got this weird repeating uh, pattern and there's a little line here as to where, it, where it's been done. So I'm actually going to just go layer, flatten image, just to make this one image so it's easier for people to do, see? And a lot of times when I get stuff like this, it, whether it's the patch tool or any of these, they need to be cleaned up. And they always tend to go back to the tried and true clone stamp tool. And what I'm doing with this is I'm going to size it I want my opacity around 60% and I'm just gonna pick an area and just kind of paint over it. And I'm trying to get rid of the, that pattern over there. One important thing is to constantly select from new areas. Do this. 
made a little line there. That's okay. I'm going to there and get rid of it. So now I'm going to come in here and clone that away. And then I would need to make my brush smaller to get this little line over the head. And I probably need to increase my opacity from 67%. But in that case, I just went over it, which is not a, a big deal. I just did it twice. And that's starting to look better. I could spend more time, but I found it interesting that this new remove tool that we have does remove things, but man, the image quality is just not really well. Well, hopefully you learned a little bit by going up here, Photoshop, going to settings, and then dropping down to image processing. So you can get a little bit better quality by using some of these new artificial intelligence tools. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, you can always leave those below. And don't forget to subscribe.